Okay. So whoever would like to share your impressions, very welcome. Please raise your hand and Alexander will unmute you. This is Margot from Canada. The person from the personality or the physical rather perspective, I've observed a shadow over the land and then new bubbles or sparkles of light seem to be arising from the earth and the trees and the water, the mountains, through humanity to the overlighting soul. A deep determination and a penetrating sound coming from the land itself through the Davic and human. In the astral, there were threads appearing and strengthening among different communities, diverse communities, as a result of the current crisis. There was more evidence of being the hands and feet of the coming one in acts of kindness and connection. There was a deep calm at the center of my being that radiates registers and embraces all that it touches with love and compassion. In the mental is an observation of some over-regulation and swirling confusion as a new order, some new thought forms are beginning to emerge and strengthen. Discipline, faith, Patience and vigilant awareness are needed to maintain a high, fine frequency during this transition. And soul strengthening group service. So that all the different aspects come home, come home to center within oneself, one's nation, and among nations, with all cultural communities coming to awareness of unity. Thank you. Margo, as you were speaking, I uh, just put my hand over my eyes and was just, um, yeah, with you letting myself being guided by, by your beautiful um, template, could almost say. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Alexander. This is Rob from Australia. There are two questions I would like to ask, but I'll ask just one now. It's of Annetta. Later, if there is time, I would like to ask a question of Uta. Uh, Aneta, thank you for such a tender exploration of 
what's of the situation of Germany. At the end, you mentioned three goals. I think three goals being directed by the soul of the nation. And I got down two of them. I missed the one in the middle. Um, I wanted to ask, you mentioned freedom. And my question is, freedom from what? And then the second one, can you please remind me what the second one was? And the third one was greater harmony. And my question again is, harmony with or within what? Thank you. Anita, you must unmute. Yeah. So, can can you hear me? Yes. So, how hope I understand everything right. Thank you, Rob, for your questions. And at first, before answering, um, I want to express my great gratitude for this um, so strongly received support for the German work. Yes, for so so and and I. I look forward to to, um, to to doing this support also for other nations, national work here in the future. Was really I received it so strong and powerful. Yes, now the questions. One question was um, was in relation to the freedom. So freedom, we receive very often this quality in our meditations in different ways as very, very important for, for, for Germany. Um, so perhaps it's not so, so easy for me to bring it in a, in a real freedom from what? Um, so we have also other German members here. So when you can say something, please, please add. Um, in Germany, I think there are a lot of um, also there are also um, crystallized um, mental um, structures. We had also these pictures of little dark suitcases over the land, and I think there is a lot of of this which has to be dissolved and this is a freedom and also a freedom from 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 above so it's difficult to say but we often receive this quality and um, then the second quality let's let's think about what what you said um i don't have the thing here i think the higher um, order was it no uh, the higher order. This was was the first quality we, we received when we meditated on on the soul of Germany. It was the high the the higher order, and um, so Germany has a fourth ray soul and a, a first ray personality, and also the Tibetan road. Um, that Germany can bring a, a new and a higher order of also government to the world when it's very well integrated. So perhaps there is a connection with also what the Tibetan said. And, and at first, it's something we receive in meditation. Yes. What was missing? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the, the, the higher order. Quality was... or I, I didn't... Yeah. I think Rob didn't get the, the uh, didn't catch the higher order, but then there was this question also about the harmony. Uh, I think this is related to this fourth ray soul, and we, we said the harmony um, also to to um, contain um, contain to contain um, diversity. Um, and to build right relations between uh, these um, very, very um, multi-dimensional field in Germany. So that's what I thank you.
Thank you, Anetta. That's clear. Mm. I can add maybe from my uh, experience. I also first want want to say that um, the support um, from the from the intergroup for the German group. This was also very strongly experienced by me. It's very substantial. I felt. Um, yeah. And uh, freedom is something that um, uh, is, uh, yes, in high demand uh, now with, of course, everywhere now in the world, but uh, for, for Germany in, in a spe specific sense, um, because of uh, uh, Germany's tendency towards control. And um, it's the, the freedom for me. It's the freedom each one of the of 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 all of us, of course, but the German citizens to sense and stand in their own freedom, also towards their government, and not be so ob obedient. Um, yeah, and freedom on on many other levels, also. Yeah, that's enough. Grete, you want to add something? No, because I, I only can repeat what you said. It's exactly about uh, described it so so clear. So I I can't comment anything that I, I, I want want to to say more. Mm -hmm. But the freedom, yes, of old uh, thought forms, the old control, it's very important. This is Andrea. And I, I had a repetition that constantly came through, through all of this. And I started just by sort of visualizing being on that director's stool and, and recognizing from that perspective that all of us as individual souls, as group souls, as national souls have had the experience and the opportunity of myriad of incarnations. And within each of those incarnations, we have maybe unconsciously unaware, but we can be sure that we've been the victims and the perpetrators in, in a variety of roles, individually and collectively. And it, it, it struck me that with the question of what does it mean to form a completed point of view, and, and from that higher perspective, that forgiveness it is so important. And it's not about only giving forgiveness, but receiving forgiveness and receiving forgiveness, truly compassionately offering and receiving forgiveness. And I think that it takes great courage to receive forgiveness but it has this extraordinary opportunity to really create a unified strength and power that I think as a, as a global community, we can only hope to see in time and, and sort of invoke, because I think that that is when we really find that, 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 that true unity. Um, and, and it's just interesting as freedom came into it, it, it really sort of sparked just that freedom is received from forgiveness. Mm -hmm. It's true, true forgiveness. So it's just the concept of forgiveness was just strong for me today. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for bringing this in. When we forgive, then, yeah, we... We free ourselves and we free the other two. Yeah. Of the past. Yeah.
Mm. And this is Maria Cristina. Um, thank you all. The courage to receive freedom and to receive the freedom received from forgiveness. It's just a beautiful unfoldment conversation, freedom, not just freedom from, but we enter into greater freedom. It's very interesting. It has um, two ways of looking at freedom, if you will, freedom from imprisoning constructs, freedom into liberating into greater um, Syrian inclusiveness as we tread the path. The meditation itself, I'll just go back to um, very powerfully the physical um, here in the United States and seem to be so seething the sense of vitality as we know because of the you know pollution and extreme climate events and so on and yet there seem to be in the middle of all of these um, you know shake up just the uh, little sense of vitality bubbling up and which I guess personally when we're asked to personally consider this vitality our personal vitality in the collective I would share the words lamps in the desert used um, from the Agni Yoga teachings lamps in the desert has really very physically anchored in our physical etheric being here through our centers, lamps in the desert, radiant, the possibility of being lamps in the desert. Emotionally, again, very overwhelming these days, um, many fields of tensions, very much played out in courtrooms here. The legal is a very defining um, aspect of life here, whether from being sued all the way through to the Supreme Court. Um, just, and, and also great denial sometimes by folks having to deal with so much that sometimes you just, you know, turn off the news and all of that because people are just so very overwhelmed. A very strong character trait here, of course, that has been fostered is that of the individual. So it's very interesting to see the sense of the collective come into increasing play. But emerging into the era of co-workers here, starting here, our co-workers within this country, thank you. Um, there was just such joy sensed, such a sense of joy. I made note again from education through to the Supreme Court and, and little trends that are coming up on how to see this in Anthropolis. But from there, I'll just go through to the soul of the nations, which, and of all nations, which I envisioned um, streaming forth through the flags. Mm. And here, the Statue of Liberty, but definitely, you know, the, my visualization was those points of power found in the flags. So, um, I guess that was the meditation for me. Thank you. Mm. Thanks, Maria Christina. You referred to the nature bubblings. Margot has also mentioned this. I feel it also as a, uh, in, in, in moments of despair about the human, humanity, 
um, this comes as a strong support that something is happening in nature also in spite of everything it's bubbling and uh, it's supportive of this transition I would like to share some impressions I try to be short one in regards to this tool of the you know, director um, I remember there is this beautiful animated movie that came in 2015 inside out it's a Pixar movie and if you didn't see it I highly recommend to see it and it's shows exactly that this tool of direct inside of the head of a character mm. and the different uh, in that case different emotions would take control over the stool of the director and so there is this kind of, the whole story uh, uh, about that who's taking control and so if you think about this tool of director within a nation it's, uh, I think it's very uh, like in that uh, movie in that animated film uh, I don't know if you saw it Uta I saw it now, yes. I saw it on the plane once, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. So it's mm -hmm. like, it, it's <laughs> very related to this topic, I think. Okay, and, yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, so if we think about it, that's like, who is in our nation in the control at the tool of directing? Mm -hmm. To be more intentional of that, like in our uh, contribution to that. Um, and the, then when we meditated on the like going through different planes, I uh, was very surprised how much response I received on the uh, like looking at the uh, national emotional level. And uh, I, of course, I recognize that I'm part of the national psychic, national emotional field, but it was unexpected how strongly it impacts me and I consider myself being pretty balanced emotionally but when it comes to the collective emotion oh no <laughs> it's just like waves that comes from there and it's uh, interesting uh, would be an interesting field for me to explore further how to work with this and probably someone could share own observations and own maybe practices on that mm. And the third one was about actually as we were going through different planes about the uh, uh, an impression came how the will energy unfolds on those different planes and how we know that we live now in the period of unfoldment of the shambolic impact of 2000 year 2000 and uh, a lot of what's happening around us is it's 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 a result of this process unfolding process and uh, it just uh, a thought for us to consider that uh, what Tibetan told us in terms of responsibility of disciples to work with this energy otherwise if it hits the the low levels it can be intercepted and um, a lot of can be said on that but it's just as a thought for also further reflection and consideration and uh, yes as Uday said in the meditation the mental plane is most transparent and most open for us uh, in terms of creativity on the level of thought forms and uh, actually and working with the, uh, the the will energy as well so that's where the most safe level of working with that energy Mm. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Interesting, yes. We have a couple yeah. more hands raised. Uh, just, yeah. just for you to how you see it further, we go. Mm -hmm. 
Ja, Rosita. We have just had the COP26 and um, I don't suppose people know that Glasgow used to be a very depressed and um, um, difficult place, uh, a lot of poverty, slums, uh, a lot of dark things going on and Glasgow has pulled itself up out of the state um, in the last years and has been ready to um, hold this uh, huge conference. So there's a certain um, pride I think in Britain about this and um, it was an amazing uh, event but uh, when we come to the emotional realm there's a lot of criticism now that um, it was a failure and in the national emotional field there's always some um, anger and a sense of injustice and wanting to um, we're very good at protesting in this country so outside the conference center were all these protest group, groups and that feels like a strength in Britain, this, this strong voice coming from the people. Um, this is reflected in our press which um, is uh, rigorous and uh, sometimes it's too much to um, attack everything always searching for the truth and sometimes distorting it so much so that I feel we are governed by the press um, perhaps more than the government um, as for government uh, during the COP process um, down south in London and so on much was being revealed about corruption in government so this has evoked a quite common thing that arises in this country of a kind of um, hopelessness that nothing will come right, a sort of depression really, um, that we have no director, um, and we have no strong sense of centre or of being well govern governed and there's not much faith in this government. So this mood of um, depression but I think that goes along with the British character because we have this grey weather and this greyness we have to deal with that that's a meeting of dark and light it's where it comes together and we have to find some kind of balance with that um, then I asked what what is the aspiration what is the hope for the British people and it came that this what that it was equality and justice and that the British people will never rest until they know there is equality and justice there must be justice for the poor there are a lot of children who don't have enough to eat now the north is depressed um, there must be justice in the country and this battle will go on until that comes. So on the spiritual level, um, I just was, was surprised in a way because I felt so much peace pouring into Britain. And I, I just, I just, my reaction was this is uh, alien and I don't, think the British people want peace and how would it be if we had a peaceful country um, but it kind of came down and it bathed the whole land and it kind of felt like an underpinning of all this ferment that is always going on here stirred up by the press and just in the people so that's about it mm. Thanks, Rosita. Equality and justice. 
pretty standing up for this until it is there. This is a very hopeful note for me to hear this commitment. Yeah, maybe we have time for one more, Deborah. Thank you. Um, thank you for giving this platform and this opportunity, all of you. And um, I, a couple of different impressions informed the meditation for me. One was that one of the responsibilities, if you will, I think uh, of the, the director in the group, international world group directors chair, if you will, right? That we're all a part of is, uh, is, is very clearly to see and to body seeing the end from the beginning to hold because if we have that really complete circle of the uh, impression of the plan the plan is overshadowing the plan is precipitating the plan is informing our souls and um and it extends from the beginning of humanity until the complete absorption of humanity into the fifth kingdom. That's the, the end from the beginning. And so within that process, we've all been criminals. We've all <laughs> been murderers, torturers, you know, you name it, whatever we can complain about in our world. Um, but the realization of the end from the beginning and that we hold the whole thing in a synthesis to me gives a sense of um, immediate purpose and will and um, and and love and stamina I think to um, then focus down with that awareness into a specific concrete need that we can see and and do something about with whatever talents and abilities we have individually and as a group and so that um, is a very energizing um, thought or you know consciousness activity to me um, that as a group um we can we can literally move move events you know mm. toward the manifestation and precipitation of the plan by embodying it ourselves and as a group you know the the plan is a group field of you know well being and it needs a group to incarnate into. So here we are offering ourselves as a world group to do that. And um, and yet it 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 becomes real in this time and place when we you know move out into the horizontal and um, and and perform a demonstration of that reality in whatever way we are capable. That was one. Secondly, being American, um, you know, I, I'm reminded that that our landmass uh, was part of Atlantis, okay? And there, there's a lot of old Atlantean energy, force and substance and residual, um, methods uh that are atlantean that are coming up now in the dynamics that the ridiculous sometimes dynamics that we're living through just you know it's enough to drive anyone crazy if we let it but you know to understand again the end from the beginning that that the old atlantean 
patterns are coming up for resolution and healing and justice and uh, restoration. And so uh, understanding too, just astrologically, this country is now entering into its Pluto return, you know, so that everything having to do with top-down power over, um, you know, dynamics are, are being purged from the American psyche. And it's very messy. And it's frankly quite, you know, if one would be embarrassed by it, it's like, this is not who we are. Sorry, world, we're apologizing for our mess. You know, when, when they're renovating a building, they put a sign up that says, please forgive our mess. You know, we're reconstructing. And that's how I feel with my country, that we are under reconstruction. Um, and, uh, you know, those of us who are working for the light in this country are more than aware of the degree to which we have, you know, really fallen to the bottom um, and are trying to climb out. So uh, I'm actually uh, hopeful um, in the in the last analysis, but part of that is not based on fairy tale hope, but on the power of our of our world group to hold to hold it all, not let it collapse us, but to hold it in a, in a world aura that, you know, never leaves the alignment with the plan and the affirmation mm -hmm. that it is in the process of manifesting. And that to me is the hope of the world. And I'm so grateful to be with you in this endeavor. Wow. Beautiful, Deborah. Really, it it links back to this forgiveness that uh, Andrea uh, brought. Um, when we forgive and uh, free ourselves and others from the past, then it doesn't collapse us. Then we can keep our eyes on 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 the end, on on the on the purpose that is clear. And um, then we become causal. We don't react um, in the old ways, but we do become causal. And then uh, we will have the strength to hold it all, as you say, not letting it collapse us. Wow, great. Thank you. I think our time is over, right, Alexander? Um. Yes and no. It's our time just beginning. <laughs> <laughs> but mm. for this program, yeah, we we a little over time, but we still have a few minutes if necessary. There's a comment mm -hmm. from each that I reposted. I can uh, just uh, read it. Yes, please. Um, mm, not a question, just to echo what Sasha said. I've been working intensively to mend, heal my corner of the astral field based on the res recent personal trauma. It occurred to me during this meditation how powerful my experience is playing out in the larger field. I hadn't yet recognized the, the reflection of the macro story happening in, in my micro story. Huh. I am reminded that as I revise the currents of my narrative, those forces help redirect other larger national story lines, hopefully. Thank you for providing this space. Hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I so think what what has emerged here uh, for me is this uh, this emphasis on um, forgiveness and how it works together with freedom and um, using the will 
standing in our power, becoming causal, holding it all together. Yeah. Thank you. Over to you. I wanted to thank Anetta for sounding the great invocation in German. It was lovely to hear. And also, I want to thank the UK group for that succinct and probing expression of what underlay the reaction of the people to what happened in Glasgow. Thank you. Thank you. And there is a comment from Jonathan to be causal as the conscious self or conscious soul incarnate is to be in the cave where spirit and matter meets and consciousness is projected into a new appearance. Beautiful. Thank you, Uta, and thanks to the Klan Schale group and the Hikal group for holding this space for us month after month, mm -hmm. year after year. Mm -hmm. A joyful common endeavor. Thank you, friends. And we continue our work together and we are entering the period of Scorpio festival and Scorpio period of work for all of us as work servers and each of our groups will do own part and we also invite you to join online programs provided by the 2025 initiative. Uh, in, on the screen you see our schedule for this uh, period of the full moon and also for the coming cycle of, as we enter to the Sagittarius period with the meditation for the common goods, we start the new cycle working with the Sagittarius energy and the focus for this full moon and for the coming cycle is how we as humanity and disciples work with the energy of the fourth ray bringing harmony out of conflict how we collectively learn to work with this increasing presence of the fourth ray Much love, and we continue our journey together. Bye-bye.